going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you what I did as an expansion tank for this car. So this car is running now a CSF radiator with a built-in oil cooler. It now also has a Blox a coolant expansion tank. The reason why I had to use another uh, expansion tank instead of the original one is because of the front mount intercooler charge pipe was in the way. So there's no way I guess for clearance that I could have used the OEM one. But just to show you guys like what I did in the whole setup. Okay so due to like this charge pipe right here, the front mount intercooler piping from the turbo side, because of this phys like this pipe right here it was physically impossible to fit the OEM uh, expansion tank that's like usually like right here. Uh, just due to clearance and whatnot, I had to get another one which is right here. This is a Blox expansion coolant tank 2 by 13. So I had to get a skinnier one but I was able to fit a longer one which is what I needed. Um, and still holds a decent amount of coolant to be honest. I did take however the windshield washer fluid reservoir out because I mean, as you can see, I'm not even running it. The tubes are just sticking out. So, in my opinion, I, I never even used them. I was like, it's kind of pointless. I don't, you know, there's just extra weight that is not uh, necessary. So I took that out. Currently sitting over there. I took the replacement of this. How it works, um, I'll show you guys. Let me open it real quick. So how it works is that middle... Uh, tube that you see going down that's actually the overflow tank or the overflow like tube that pretty much goes all the way down to the floor so if I ever fill it up like a little above that needle or that tube then it's just gonna go straight to the floor and on the bottom side you can't see it because there's fluid in there that tube is what this is so I'm running a fuel line uh, grade tube, uh, thanks to my friend uh, for helping me out on that. Pretty much I plugged it to where the coolant would be uh, for the OEM line. Just something to consider if you guys ever do this option. I just use like a basic uh, hose clamp and uh, on the other side is right there. So if you see the tube right there sticking out of the tank, that's the overflow tube. So that just vents out uh, if it's too full. And then that tube right there, that is the same line I showed you earlier. Same deal, you know, use a hose clamp to uh, secure it and then just run it all the way back up to your line that you need to put to your radiator. Uh, pretty simple um, install, pretty easy, straightforward uh, setup. I really like it. Just every now and then you obviously would need to check your coolant uh, in the reservoir tank. Now. Just to explain to you what happened before, I didn't even have this set up and I had this actually capped off. So I had a little cap coming out of this fitting right here and uh, the only issue that caused the car like when it was cold is actually this tank or this hose, this radiator hose, uh, it was due to pressure or vacuum, it was getting like clamped, if that makes sense. So. It was getting kind of like, it would suck in by itself. Like this part would just like kind of collapse inwards when the car was cold. And I think that was just because of pressure. So every time that happened, obviously when the car is cold, I had to open this coolant cover and just relieve some pressure. And then literally this hose would like open back up. So uh, just something to consider. I don't know why when uh, that whole issue happened and when I didn't relieve pressure, my car was acting weird, almost went into limp mode. And then just over time, like by itself, when it got warm, it went out of limp mode and just acted normal again. So, just something to consider if you guys ever do this setup. Make sure you, if you ever do cap this off, this line off, and if you ever do experience that, make sure you relieve pressure by doing that, by just literally taking off uh, the cap when the car is cold. But otherwise, uh, shout out to Blocks for the setup. All right, so now another explanation why this car is like this. I did explain in the last video, but I am getting it prepped for wrap. I am actually sending it today to get it wrapped. Um, more like getting it prepped, but all this that you see on the fenders, it's, just, it's horrible, it's disgusting. 
that's all from fender flares and more specifically that's just from the uh, sealant that I had and it just pretty much ripped off the paint so like I said in the last video do not ever use black silicone sealant for uh, your fender flares just so you can clear the gap it just something that looks ugly and uh, you definitely will regret it but I would recommend using weather stripping and if that still somehow does not clear the gap I would use um, I would do something to where you can kind of shave down the fender flares so it would f like flush more or just deal with the gap because I promise you it's that's more worth it than having this <laughs> like sealant on your fenders so just something uh, to remind you guys about but this is why the car looks just really ugly right now is because it's getting it's pretty much ready for prep for wrap but I'm excited guys and uh, one more thing I do want to explain so I do have my own Kuzeri banner that's already designed it is actually in the uh, it's on the way right now from uh, Seattle but I already designed I'm excited to be putting that on my very first banner and I will be selling it too uh, just depending on how this one comes out and I already have like a couple people who would be wanting to buy one so I'm pretty excited for that take a good last look because it's not gonna be gray anymore so I will miss the DGM look I'm not gonna lie but it's time alright guys that's pretty much it for this video uh, super short super just uh, informative about the whole uh, blocks uh, expansion tank install I just ma mainly wanted to go over uh, what you know what I did for that in terms of the process but the next video is going to be um, kind of like a more cinematic video again I'm really really into those lately and uh, I just figured you know people like that too so I got some feedback from that but uh, I will be filming Kurt who's gonna be installing uh, the wrap at Alter Beast Performance and I'm gonna be catching just uh, the processes of what he's gonna be doing but in a more fashionable like style of video so uh, just stay tuned for that but otherwise guys I'll catch you guys later and I'll keep you guys up there as always see ya